our soul is anchored in the Lord. Hallelujah this evening. How are you guys? <laughs> you just teased us. <laughs> A little bit. Our soul is anchored in the Lord. Amen. I just wanted to get that out. My soul yes. is anchored in the Lord. My baby hit that jump. We don't own the right to this music. That jump. For real, for real. I she hope you all that jump. were listening with your spiritual ears because truly I am not a singer. Well, she does praise God very well, though. Amen. I'm a worshiper of God. Yeah, yes, you worship us on this household. Amen. Welcome. Well, welcome. To, <laughs> go ahead, you do it. <laughs> welcome to Inspired Life Ministries. This is Pastor Kofi Bryant Sr. And this is Pastor Lachelle Bryant. Amen. And we together are Inspired Life Ministries where we hope then that we're inspiring you to live out God's plan for your life and to complete what? Every assignment. For your life. Amen. That well, let's God get into has this. given you. Yes, let's get into what God has given us to give to you this evening. Welcome to um, Tuesday evening, Word of Inspiration. Yes. Also, we want to make it very plain and clear. We do not own the rights to that song. Yes. And so here I'm it is. So I'm going to be using the English um, Standard Version. Amen. I'm going from I'm coming from Hebrews, the New Testament, chapter six, verses eighteen through twenty. And the word of God reads in this way, those two things can never change. God cannot tell a lie. Uh -huh. As a result, we can be brave and strong. We have trusted God to keep us safe with him. Yes. We should also expect to receive the good things that he has promised to give us. Uh -huh. We can be completely sure about those good things we hope to receive. That keeps our thoughts strong because we know that our life is safe with God. Thanks be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. It is like an anchor that keeps a boat safe. Mm. When we hope like that, we know that we will one day arrive in God's special place in heaven. Uh -huh. That is like the special place behind the curtain in the tabernacle. Verse 20, mm. Jesus has already gone in there. Mm. He has gone there before us on our behalf. Yes. He has become our special priest forever in the same way that Michelle Zadak was God's priest. That's right. And so the title of this message, and this is a recap, this is one of the messages that we did in 2000. 2021, the way that Pastor Kofi Bryant Sr. would say it. I just say 2021. That's right. So the title of this message is, Where's Your Soul Anchored? Amen. Or, yeah, Anchored actually is the title anchored, of the message. That's right, Anchored. And so the question that I'm asking is, Where's Your Soul Anchored? And that's a thought pondering question for you to think about and mm -hmm. to answer that you want to put it in live chat, you can. If you want to journal it and think about it, um, where is your soul anchored? Mm. Is your soul anchored in pain? Is mm. your soul, soul anchored in hurt? Is it anchored in disappointment? Is it anchored in Christ Jesus, the rock? Yes. He's the rock of our salvation. Mm -hmm. God cannot lie when he says something or when he makes an oath. I read it right from the scripture. Is your soul anchored? Is it? See, my soul is anchored in the things of God. Mm. Are there any other witnesses out there? Yes. My soul is anchored in the things of God. My soul is anchored in the word of God. My mm. soul, my soul, yes. my soul is anchored. anchored. And I can really secure. talk about that message. Thank you, Pastor. Yes. Absolutely secure. I can talk about that message, that, that, that tune or song that half of a verse that pastor sang to us <laughs> um really kept me inspired this year yes, when my only brother biological brother went home to be with the lord on august 3rd of 2021 yes not that i have not been saying not that i didn't shed some tears but mm -hmm. i didn't allow his death to consume me and take me to a place of darkness yes why because i have a hope 
Mm. And sometimes we get the word, we understand the word, we, we're quoting verses, Bible scriptures, and things like that. Yes. But do we really know what that scripture means mm. until we're faced with life circumstances right. or when death occurs or when the loss of a job occurs or when we lose a home or when a car is repossessed or when a child is killed or when a child goes to prison or whatever mm -hmm. the case may be That's or a child special. becomes sick is your soul anchored in Jesus and so I thank God for two living senior parents a father and a mother yes. who raised us to have a relationship with Christ mm. Do children stray away at times absolutely but even as adults we have strayed away mm. but if your soul is anchored, you can have a hope and you'll return back oh to the things of God. And so that song really ministered to me mm. um, during this process of, of my brother passing away. Mm -hmm. And I'm so thankful for the word of God. And so I would tell you to let your soul be anchored in the things of God. Mm. Let your don't be so consumed with the hurt and the pain, but let your soul be anchored. Yes. When we learn and have understanding that when we go through things, that we can take God's word and apply oh it gosh. to that situation, the word of God becomes a life. The mm. word of God is life, mm. but it's manifested in our behavior because we've taken his word and we've applied it to that situation. Thank you, Jesus. Let your soul be anchored in the Lord. Mm. He can keep you from drifting, but the question is, do you want to drift or do you want to be anchored in the Lord? On, See, Jesus is our hope. Amen. Mm -hmm. You can have peace peace in the midst of trials. You can have peace in tri trials and tribulations. You can have peace mm, in your circumstances. Is your soul anchored? Mm. We have to learn to hold fast to the word of God. Well, if you don't get in the word of God, how will you hold fast? Let's just not Read the promises of God, mm. but let us believe them. Let our soul be anchored in the Lord. Yes. God bless you, Pastor Kofi. Oh, glory. Glory to God. Pastor, I didn't want you to stop. You know what I mean? I'm just a word I, of inspiration. Hey, for listen, the people. I want to tell you this. Family, anchoring something, or in a, as it relates to a ship, if you think about it, it is to secure precious cargo. Yeah. Huh? It's it's saying that this vessel vessel is holding precious cargo and has the potential to drift away. Mm -hmm. If you listen to last week's message, Drifters, mm -hmm. it has the potential to drift away. And the reason being is because the water is turbulent. Mm -hmm. And as the water is turbulent, it even causes large ships as well as small ships to float away or to go adrift. Yeah, yeah. But an anchor solidifies the position of that cargo in its proper place. It causes the cargo to not be in an insecure place. That's right. And so you, your soul must be deeply rooted in, anchored, fixed, cemented in, attached to, firmly attached to Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Because if it's not, it will drift it will away. Drift. That's right. The waters are always turbulent, so you end up drifting anyway. You can go on one channel and end up on several other channels because you drifted away. Yeah. Your attention drifts away. Your commitment drifts away. Your stature, your, your premise of who you are, it tends to drift away when you are distracted. So, let your soul be anchored in the Lord. If you lost somebody this year, let your soul be anchored in the Lord. If you lost a job this year, a loved one, a relationship, let your soul, let your soul, your yes. precious cargo be anchored in the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If Hallelujah. you don't know the Lord is your Lord and Savior, repeat this prayer after me. Say, Lord. Lord. I want you. I want you. Lord, Lord, come into me. Come into me. Change me. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Change, Change me, me right Change now. Me right now. Yes, God. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' and name. And save me. And save me. Oh, in Jesus' name, amen. In Jesus' name, amen. Oh, glory be to God. You, you are now that, saved. Hallelujah. Yes. I'm sorry for cutting you off, Pastor. Sure, sure, baby. If you said that and you believe that in your heart, yes. you just confessed it out of your own mouth. We want to welcome you into the body, the body of, of Christ. Christ. Hallelujah. And we want you to know that the angels in heaven are rejoicing because oh, you yes. are saved. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. It doesn't mean that trials and tribulations won't come. It doesn't mean that you won't be tempted by sin. Oh, 
on but the you have a way out. God has provided a way of escape for Absolutely. you. Hallelujah. So thank God for you. God bless you. You know how we do here at Inspire Life Ministries. We, we love, love you. you. But more importantly, God, God loves, loves you. you. We'll Peace. see you on the next broadcast. Peace.